All right, guys, here's some pretty exciting news that we get a ton of inquiries about. Wireless Android Auto is finally here for all the Kenwood units, but also for any other units out there uh, that do have Wi-Fi built in, you will finally get Wireless Android Auto. You can see here we're using a Samsung Galaxy 8, and you can actually see this is actually working wirelessly with no cables in it, okay? So you can actually um, control everything. This will go through to his maps, everything that he needs to do. Uh, Spotify, etc. Now, this is the new Google Play, or sorry, Android Auto that has been updated on the latest Android 9.0 Pi system. So that's the operating system from your phone. So the new system looks really, really cool. It's a nice new layout. Um, I'm super impressed with what I've seen so far. But in this video, which we're going to load onto our YouTube right now, we're going to show you how to actually get this wireless Android Auto working. Um, it does involve quite a few different steps. You do have to download the Google Play Services latest version, which is the beta version. So it's not currently available um, straight off the Play Store, but we're going to show you how to bypass that and get this working now for all you guys out there with all the wireless Kenwood units that we actually sell. So we did actually try this on the older model Kenwoods, but it did not work on the older model Kenwoods that did have the Wi-Fi built in. It only worked on the 2019 models and above the 2018s didn't work. So anything with a 1.9 at the end, which is 2019, those models with the DABS or the Wi-Fi built in, so it has to have this symbol, will actually work on the wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay now, so they're both going to be working. So this is the DMX8019 DABS. The D, uh, DMX 8019S does not have Wi-Fi built in, so it doesn't work. The DDX9 series and above all have Wi-Fi. They will actually work. But anything that was DDX9018, so last year's models, will not work. We actually did test that in-house ourselves to see. Even though it had Wi-Fi, it did not work. So, okay, guys. So there's going to be a couple of things that you will need to do on these phones. So we're going to use a Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 here. You It will be slightly different depending on the Android phone that you have, but the setup is virtually the same, so just bear with us and you'll have to play around a little bit with your phones. But you want to go into settings and the first thing you want to do is ensure that your phone has the latest software update, okay? So if you want to go to it, you need to make sure you got Android 9 as the latest version, which is 9.0 Pi. So you can download that through your phone. And then we're going to do a couple of other things that we need to get as well. There's two ways to get the latest version of the Google Play Services app um, so that you can actually turn on the wireless project projection, uh, projection on that system. So what I'm talking about here is Google Play Services, not just the Google Play Store. actually show it to you here it doesn't come up in the settings uh, so let me quickly show you in the actual settings page so if you go into settings go into apps and if you scroll down you'll actually be able to see where is it here google play services so this app here this is the one that you're going to be working with and you want to ensure that this is updated to the latest version okay so if you tap on this google play services you want to scroll down uh, and you'll actually be able to see the version of the app. So the version is 19.0.56 or above. So you want to make sure it is this version of the app that you want to be running. Now, we do need to make sure that we are in developers mode. So we do want to activate developers mode on the phone system, and that's going to be our first step. The way you're going to do this, guys, and how to get into the developer mode will vary to different phones, but I'll show you what it's like on this Samsung. So you're going to go into your settings, scroll down to about phone. Uh, we, you can see here, we've already got developer options open, but go about phone. You're going to scroll down to the software information and then the build number. And you're going to tap this 10 times and it'll actually say you're a couple of numbers away from developer mode. Here you can actually see it says, no need developer mode is already activated, okay? So developer mode will allow you to download any of the Android packages in order to update the system. So you're gonna actually need that on to activate this wireless mirroring or this wireless Android Auto a little bit early. Now there's two ways that you can actually download the package um, or the updated version of wireless Android Auto or Google Play services is what we're really trying to update here to that 19.0 section. 
Um, you can actually go and join the Android beta program and it will allow you to download it. You have to enroll to that system if you want to. So just Google um, uh, Android beta program and join it and you know, enroll in it and then you'll be able to download it from there. But not all phones will be listed on that beta program. So the second step is if you wanted to go to it, you could go to APK Mirror and APK Mirror will actually have different versions of the Google Play Store available. So I'm gonna show it to you here. I will put a link in this video to this page so you can actually visit this. But as you can see here, these are all the APK packages, which is basically the files that you can use to download and install this version. So Google Play Services 19.0.56 by Google, obviously, don't use anyone else. You can search for this on the APK Mirror website. And there's a couple of things you want to make sure when you download this. So you firstly need to make sure your architecture for that phone, which you can actually see here, Arc, um, architecture for the phone is relative to your phone and the version number of the Android is correct. So you don't want to install the wrong version because it will not work on your phone. So the way you're going to do this, you're going to check what architecture system you have for your phone. And the easiest way to do that is go to the Google Play Store and download an app called Droid Info. So you can actually see it here, Droid Info. You can download and install that. And this will actually give you information about your system or your phone that you're running here, okay? So here you can click system up the top and you can see here CPU architecture, ARMV8-A. All right, and as you can see here, instruction set, ARM64-VA8. So that is our architecture system that we are using on this phone. Um, just to be aware, oh, excuse the ads on here, it is a free app, so they do put ads in this sort of thing. Um, oh. Got to get rid of the ad. You have to watch it. There we go. Get rid of the ad. Um, so it is a free app, so you will get that. Uh, the device here, you can see, is a 480 DPI software density. So we'll take that information. We will go back to our APK Mirror website, and you'll go down here, and you look for the relative version. So here I can see Android 9.0, which is the software platform we are running. 480 DPI is the resolution of the screen that we're going to, or the software, actually. And the version of the software here, or the architecture, ARM64 V8 A plus um, AVI V7A. So we actually downloaded this version. You can actually tap that. It will ask you to download it. Um, you can scroll down here. You gotta move down a little bit, pass all the ads, download the APK. Now it will ask you for a few security preferences, uh, such as being able to allow Chrome to install such um, apps and files that you've downloaded from the internet. So you need to give it permission to do that. Then you would install your Google Play Services 19.0.56. That is the latest version. Now, once you have done that, you do need to go into the Google Play Services app. So let's get rid of this. Uh, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to go back to settings and you go into apps and you're going to change a few different things. Uh, firstly, sorry, let's go into the Android Auto app here. Um, oh no, it's already activated here. Let me have a look here. Uh, sorry, no, let's do the Google Play Services one first and make sure it's updated. So you want to go into Google Play Services. Uh, Google Play Services here. Yeah. All right. And you can actually go down, check your version number. Sorry, we are in the wrong one. Google Play. So there you go. Made a mistake. Google Play Services. And you're going to make sure that's updated to the latest version. So 19.0.56. All right, so we've updated the Google Play services, we've updated the Android phone, and the last thing we're gonna do is turn on the wireless mirroring setting for the Android Auto in order to activate this and get it working. Yeah. All right, so now we are going to go back to settings again, and once you go into settings, so this is your main page here, you're gonna scroll down, Google services. We're gonna to scroll to Android Auto, and this is gonna bring up some of the settings on the Android Auto, okay? so. Uh, try the new Android Auto. Uh, you're going to open up a few different things here. But one of the main things, top right-hand corner, tap this little settings feature, open developer settings, and you want to add wireless protection, a uh, projection to the settings. You want to tick that box on. So that was previously not ticked on, um, and it was actually not available on there. 
but now it is if you download this latest version. Some of the other things we wanted to turn on, automatically resume media. You do want to switch that on. That is not on as standard. Um, and there was a couple of things like auto launch. If you want to go into auto launch, once you paired up your device, you actually have to turn that on for the stereo. So this is the model stereo uh, that we are running. Uh, sorry, this one up here. So we actually tested on the old models you can see there, but you want to turn on auto launch for those devices. So whenever you get in the vehicle, that will come on automatically. Now, that is all you're going to need to do for all the apps. And if you want to pair it up, you then have to pair it up with your Kenwood unit. If you do have Kenwood, it will be different on different phones. You might want to plug it in via the USB that you come uh, that comes with the phone, plug it into your unit via USB to USB-C. It will pair up to the system. Once it's done that, you will then see after you unplug it, that the Android Auto will continue. Oh, one last thing, you do need to reset your phone. So once you've changed all these features, reset your phone and do all that before you turn the stereo on, then go and pair up your system. If you have it already paired, delete it out of the unit. So if you're in the Kenwood, you wanna go into your Bluetooth settings, uh, which is somewhere here, settings, Bluetooth, and select device. If it's already in here, you can see it's running. You can't actually delete it while we're using it, but you want to delete it out of there for the first time that you load it up and pair it up from scratch. Um, Android Auto will then ask you to allow it to be able to be used, and you need to agree to all those sort of things like you would for most apps on Android phones, um, and even Apple do that as well. But there you go, guys. That is how you would activate the wireless mirroring at this point in time. Excuse my messy desk during this process. It's just our development desk, so we can show you different things. Uh, but that was using the Galaxy S8. It should work for almost every Android phone out there. Um, I apologize for the holding the phone and if you can't see that, but you can pause this video and go back and check things. So it should be quite clear for you. Just tried to make that quick and easy for you guys. So guys, check out our YouTube channel, Carbon Car Systems. We do load videos up on a lot of the stuff on how-tos and DIYs, but give us a follow and subscribe if you like the video. Have a good day. See you guys.